In this video, we're going to be looking at snow, hail, and rain. So we're going to be looking at the weather FX add-on. Now, in the scene just before that we watched, I really should have made the particles a little bit smaller. They're out of scale, but it was a 40 minute render and I don't really want to be rendering it again. So we're just going to go with it. So we're going to look at the weather effects, just as I mentioned, the car is from the Trafficker add-on. Now I do have affiliate links for both of them in the description. If you want to support, use them. If not, cool bananas. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to start off. I'm going to delete the three particle systems in there. Let's get rid of them. So at the moment, let's have a look at the rain. So I'm just going to put in rain as the name. I can't even spell rain. Rain as the name. And I'm just going to go add weather particles. Now what that does is going to create us a plane. Now, if I were to press play, we can see that the plane falls down. Now, the reason why it's lagging so much is because I put a collision thingamabob on the car. So let's select the collision. I'm just going to take it off just so it can render faster. So let's remove that collision. And also the ground plane has a collision. So we'll see that it actually falls and it kind of lands on the ground. So this is the snow. Oh, sorry. This is the rain one. Um, if we have a look at the heavy rainfall, so let's go ahead and delete this one, add GZ. We can see that this is kind of meant to be the hail. Whoops. Let's go back to the start. This is an important thing as well is depending on where you add the particle system on the timeline down the bottom is when the particle system starts. Okay. So if I were to delete this one, we can see we're on frame 69, add weather system, G to the Z. Let's move forward just a smidgen. There we go. And now we can see that it's hailing down. So that's quite nice. I really do like the hail. Um, this is kind of like what was happening in Canberra, I think last year or the year before it was nuts. So that's the heavy rain. And then we've got snow as well. So let's go into add particle GZ. And I love this snow, how it kind of can just so nice how it just kind of <laughs> um so that's a very brief overview obviously we can add in our planes cubes cylinders as collisions so we don't have to do anything with adding a normal plane as our uh, collision you can see that all the settings are set to zero so if we come back and we watch this we should see that the snowflakes are really bouncing but if i delete that add in a plane scale that up you can see that these settings have already been set up and here we go. And you'll see that they kind of stick to the ground a little bit more. Now, when using the hail and the rain, what will actually happen is you're going to have some big like landing. So you'll see that we'll have a lot of, um, bouncing. So we can dampen that obviously by selecting our collision dampening. We can increase that, increase the randomization so that a lot of them, will, well, some of them will get dampened. Some of them will bounce a little bit higher. And then we kind of have this effect. Come on. And you can see that they're much lower to the ground. Now over on Light Architects channel, third time lucky, they have used this with real footage that they've comped in. Um, and it looks quite nice. Now I'll probably be using this with a few videos coming up as well. Cause I really like the snowflakes. I've just got some ideas. I've got some ideas on what's coming up. So if there's another add on you want me to have a look at, please leave a comment below. If you want to pick these up, there is a link in the description. If you haven't already just subscribe, I've actually got some cool stuff coming up. Trust me.